Hi everybody, how are you doing today? Glad to see all of you smiling out there and you know, ready to watch another video. So thanks for coming down here. So today we're gonna to be checking out a brand new Kenworth T800 with sleeper on it. So why don't we roll that intro and I'll meet you out at the truck. All right, here we are at the truck. Like I said, this is a brand new 2021. Yes, you heard me, 2021 Kenworth T800. Seen a lot of comments online saying, or people asking me, hey, I thought they discontinued the T800. Built in March. This truck is alive and well. So let's check it out. So with this truck here, the way that we set this one up, this is a Super B spec setup. It is in stock, it's brand new 2021, ready for delivery. A uh, few minor things that we can do to finish it off, put fenders on, maybe a drop visor and a stripe, but uh, it's a nice clean slate to work with. So looking up at the front here, we have the stainless steel chrome uh, channel tapered bumper up front here. So that's a nice heavy duty bumper with the two removable toe pins that go in there. Uh, we put in the extra four ribs on the grill, so it has a total of seven across with a permanently mounted bug screen right here. And then uh, right up here, this is where you would put your winter front uh, for when you're running that in the winter. Has a two-piece windshield with a stainless visor, and we put the two sets of marker lights up on the cab and on the sleeper itself. Uh, dual air cleaners, these are the 13 inch air cleaners and we have dual exhaust with the seven inch wide tailpipes. They start down here at five and then they flare out kind of right in that area there. Ooh, it's nice and sunny out today. A little bit windy. It's time for a haircut. My hair is just going crazy. But anyhow, uh, back to the truck. So the front end here, it's got a 14.6 uh, front axle rating, 14,600 pounds. And they are on 11R 24.5 rubber, which are Michelin tires. Batteries are housed behind the diamond plate toolbox here. And we have the, the largest def tank that we offer, the 31 gallon def tank with a chrome or a stainless cover over top. We order it with the seven inch fuel tank straps and the fuel tank on this side here is 110 gallons. We have 24.5 Bridgestone M799s on the back end of this here with the Kenworth AG460 suspension. So that's the 46,000 pound rated rear. Uh, we have the fifth wheel ramps right over here, and it's got the Dana Spicer 46,000 pound rear differentials in here. So the uh, D46172P uh, with four way lockers and the gearing is 391 for those that are interested. Uh, these are the level one polished rims. So uh, they're actually, they come up pretty shiny. So nice and shiny, a little bit dusty right now, but that's okay. We'll get it shined up before it goes down the road. We have a larger fuel tank on this side here with the steps. Uh, this is a 135 gallon fuel tank here. Like I said, the seven inch fuel tank straps. We put the stainless steel, uh, the, the, sorry, the chrome vent cover comes painted unless you order it with that. And of course it has the backup lights here with the 19 inch sleeper extenders. No flush mounted lights in the back of the, the sleeper. Uh, if a guy wants to put a headache rack on, if you're doing deck work, uh, you don't have to worry about relocating those lights. Uh, we have the DPF SCR Catalyst right down in here. And uh, let's take a look underneath the hood, show you what we got. <coughs> it's not coronavirus, I promise. I've done pretty good here lately, I'm not sick. I just get a dry, mouth when I'm talking a lot and it makes me cough. So we got the Cummins X15 and it is a 565 horsepower 1850 torque rated Cummins uh, engine here. So very reliable engines, been doing a fantastic job since 2018 when they rebranded as the X15. Now this engine has been really proving itself, doing a fantastic job. Uh, as far as the 
the uh, fluid level checks and fills. We got the engine oil fill. We got the power steering fluid right there. Engine oil check. Uh, washer fluid right up there. We got our fuel filter down below, fuel water separator. Uh, boost terminals with a remote lube terminal for the clutch linkage and the cross shaft. And uh, we got your coolant up on the high side over there. Uh, brakes on this truck, it is drum brakes all the way around. So just for those that are interested in that information, take a look on the other side. This is where the HVAC system is right here. You can add an extra filter right in there to uh, filter the cab air going into the cab uh, vents and so forth. So if you wanna filter that out if you're in a really dusty environment. Here's your turbo, headlight assembly back here. Now it does have a safety latch. It is a bit more of an old school design. Just this little uh, wire and that hooks on right here. And then now it won't close back and crank you in the head. So not a bad thing to hook on there if you're working on the truck on a windy day. So let's uh, close up the hood here and take a look inside. All right, so welcome to the interior of this T800. So let's take a look across the dash here. I'll show you how we have this truck set up. Uh, down below here is your window lift controls. Uh, we have your mirror controls with your heat and adjustment. So these are the motorized mirrors. So the mirrors will adjust left to right. They won't go up and down. So these are the uh, moto mirror is what they're called. Uh, we order it with a leather wrapped steering wheel, which comes with your cruise control and Jake brakes. Uh, you have an interrupter switch for your, your uh, headlights if you want to dim your brights or flash your brights, your high beam, low beam. So uh, nice little setup there. Frees up a little, little bit more space on the dash for additional switches if you're running out of space. Uh, down below here we have the backup light switch. This is the one on the side of the sleeper, just a spare. Uh, here's your interior lights. Whoops. Uh, your sleeper lights, we'll turn that on. A little bit brighter in here now. Engine fan, and then another spare. Here's your windshield washer fluid. This whole button here goes on to squirt uh, windshield washer fluid onto the windshield, of course. And uh, this is your marker light interrupter switch. Down below here, your DPF regen switch. So you hold that down to do a parked regen when the truck is not running uh, or not in gear or anything like that. Uh, this is your spare. We have a couple trailer spare switches that are wired up to a secondary plug-in on the back. Now, I didn't showcase that, but we can order that right from the factory. So if you're running auxiliaries on your, your trailer for like, say, a, a end dump or a belly dump uh, or anything like that or lights, you can uh, tie it right into that. Here's your hazards, your traction control, factory PTO switch, air slide, beacons. Uh, it's wired up for beacons air suspension dump, and then full locking differential. We also have the full gauge package with the Nav Plus HD right in there. And the seats that we have in here, these are the Sears, sorry about the plastic here, but anyhow, you can kind of see the idea. This is the Sears Ultra Leather Seat. So when you're specking a truck, if you want to get this nice wider base seat, it actually costs you less money to put this seat in than the national seat. The difference is this seat uh, is not heated, whereas the national seat is. So, uh, but it is a, actually a very nice soft leather, very comfortable, uh, it's quite popular. So uh, you got all your lumbar supports here and then your, uh, your height adjustment right there. Now the truck has a manual 18 speed transmission. So that's what we got there. And then your heat controls down below. Uh, for the uh, 
for the heater. You can also turn on the fan heat or, or air conditioning by hitting this little button right there. So that's a few things up front here. Let's turn around, take a look back here. All right, so let's take a look over here. It is a double bunk. So it's got the diamond VIT interior, as you can see, and it's got the bed up here with a full mattress. And then you got the spring mattress down below. Now uh, up here inside, we have a storage compartment right here. And we have another one up above and then another one down below here. And then your last one right here. Now it also does have a hanger so you can hang, uh, you know, jacket or, or whatever you need to hang. On this side here, we got another storage pocket down below here. Another one right there, another one right there. This is where you'd mount your TV. It's got the cable right there. And then we have some more storage up above. So plenty of storage. Now there is an option to put a fridge in it here, which it is pre-wired on this particular unit. So right here is the switch for the fridge, which gives you an outlet down in that area over there. Let's actually find it. Now that I have a light, let's see. Hmm. I, I don't see it. Nope, it's probably tucked underneath somewhere. So we'll have to find it later. All right. Now back to here. So here's your fridge. Uh, we have the cab panel sleeper lights. So that's for the lights overhead. And that's just a little nut light right there. And then here's the heater controls for in the back here. Now the bunk is a little bit smaller when you have the bunk down. So as you can see, my head is uh, I'm kind of crouched over here. As far as the height dimensions, if you want to see that, I put a video up quite a few, well, probably about a year ago, kind of going over all the different bunk sizes. Be sure to check that video out. If I remember, I'll put a link up in the thing here somewhere where you can check it out. So let me just open or close this up. Nice little seat belt here. And then you got lots of space overhead. So that's a quick tour. I don't know which camera to look at here. Now we also have uh, the windows in the bunk on both sides on this truck. So has all those right there and right there, which are obviously buttoned up nice and tight right at the moment. All right, so thanks for coming by to check out this video. I sure appreciate you taking time to watch it and uh, be a part of this community on YouTube. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel here, just click on the subscribe button in the bottom corner here and that way you'll get notified uh, of future videos that are coming out. If you wanna get a notification on your phone, just make sure you click off that bell and then you'll get notified of that. Uh, if you want to check out what we have in stock as far as new and used trucks, uh, you can click up on the link here. It'll take you to the KenworthGuy.com and I have all my inventory that I have access to listed for sale. So uh, if you want to shoot me an email or give me a call, all my contact information is below. Uh, like I said, this truck is for sale. If you are interested, you know what to do. So thanks for coming by and as always, have yourself the world's best day.